So we all know that, that volunteers are really the lifeblood of uh, any community, especially those that uh, serve public safety uh, in volunteer search and rescue and firefighting roles. And, and it's because of their selflessness. Each of us rests a little better knowing that BC is made stronger by the support of their safety net. So it's my pleasure today that as a province and as a result of our strong and growing economy and as a part of our 2017 balanced budget, we are providing a new tax credit to these volunteers who serve their communities in search and rescue teams and in volunteer fire departments. We are pleased to recognize their leadership and volunteerism through a $1 million yearly commitment from the province to, in a small way, give thanks for the large contributions. I'd like to thank uh, the minister as well as our local MLAs for their support. Uh, search and rescue volunteers contribute an incredible amount of time away from their families and workplaces to save the lives of lost or injured people. They also contribute financially, buying personal protection equipment, clothing and ready packs to operate safely in, a var in variable terrain and weather. This tax credit will relieve some of the financial burden carried by these volunteers and shows the commitment the province of BC has to, vo uh, to volunteer search and rescue program and its members. So this tax credit matches the federal ta tax credit for those with at least 200 hours of volunteer service, which means that between our two levels of government, we're putting up to $600 back into their search and rescue volunteer team members' uh, wallets each year, as well as volunteer firefighters. And, and to have this uh, recognition from the province for, for the work they're doing for the communities uh, truly is a great uh, a gesture for us. So on behalf of our associations, we thank uh, the, the province for really uh, stepping up and recognizing what we do for them. So again, thank you very much.